This is uh, one of my favorite radiators. This this is in Washington, D.C. This was the old post office, which was bought by Donald Trump and turned into a luxury hotel. But the day I visited there, I was, I was there with my wife and my daughters, and they wanted to go to the gift shop, and I wanted to look at this radiator because this is, uh, you know, these were all over the place. This was fascinating to me because I'm looking at the way this thing's put together. Here, this, there's uh, no nipples on the top, nipples only across the bottom. We've got two sections. One, the steam goes into here. Steam also goes over to here. And we've got these nipples that are angled. Could you do this? Could you put this together? There's not a union anywhere in this thing. And it had been converted to hot water. We, we could see here the hot water pipes. And I don't know when that happened, but probably years ago. And then my daughters again wanted to go to the gift shop, but I said, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We have here the remnants of, of what was called a Paul system. Andrew Paul was the man that invented uh, vacuum heating. And this device took the place of an air vent and it had a little thermostatic element inside of it. So this, this threaded connection here at the bottom would be attached to a, a metal pipe that would go down into the basement. And a building like this, like the, like the old post office, would have had a steam engine in the basement. And the steam engine was there to run a generator to provide electricity. And back in the day, they would use the waste steam coming off the steam engine. They would run it through a, an oil separator and they would send the waste steam up into the building to heat the radiators. And then down by the steam engine, they would use an ejector, which is a, a specialized T that has a, a, a reducing cone along the run. And if you shoot steam through that run of the T, it's going to go through that, that diminishing hole of the cone and pick up velocity. And when it does that, Bernoulli's principle kicks in, Bernoulli's law. And it's going to have uh, an effect of, on, the, on the bull side of the T, the side of the T. It's going to create a suction. So it's, that's the same principle that makes an airplane fly. We have, we have rapidly moving air that's going to lower the pressure under the wing and it lifts the plane up into the air. So here we're going to have rapidly moving steam going through an ejector that's going to cause a vacuum. And the vacuum is going to uh, suck all the air through these pull air vents and pull it down. And the result was they would save up to 30% on the fuel bill because they would have the air removed very quickly out of the system. And then the steam would travel at speeds up to 60 or 70 miles an hour to go from the boiler or from the steam engine up into the radiators. So I was fascinated by the remnants of this being in a building that is still standing today and now is a luxury hotel.